Today we're making cottage cheese bread. Come on in and welcome to my home. This is a really easy recipe. I love this cottage cheese bread because it's just so simple to make. I am using my bread maker. You don't have to. You can do this by hand, but the bread maker makes it so easy. And I'm only using the dough setting. All of the ingredients are listed below. And remember, if this is your first time here, remember to subscribe. All these Tuesdays are recipes, and I love making these recipes. So let's get started so quick and so easy. I have my bread maker pan, and all of my ingredients are at room temperature. Let me get them out of the way here, and we'll go step by step. I have a fourth of a cup of warm water, and then cottage cheese. Yeah, it would make sense to have cottage cheese and cottage cheese bread, right? And then we have one egg and butter. Your butter should be softened. Uh, however, if your water is really warm, that sort of thing, it will take care of it. Now, follow the directions if you're doing this in a bread maker according to your bread maker. If you don't, you're going to have problems. But if you do, you won't have any problems. Then I have my sugar. A pinch of sea salt. Now, if you do not use sea salt, you can use about a teaspoon of regular table salt. Oregano. Basil, simply because I love basil. I am a basil fiend, I will admit. I just think it tastes so good. Now, we add our flour. And then on top, I have my yeast. How simple is that? Now, I go over to my bread maker, place my, uh, <laughs> place my cartridge in, then I'm going to set it to the dough setting. It will go through the whole entire cycle and then it'll raise for the first time. Now, if you are doing this by hand or you're using a machine or something that's not a bread maker, what you're going to do is you're going to knead the dough until it's a nice, smooth, firm dough. Then let it rise for about 30 minutes to an hour until it actually has about doubled in bulk. Then we'll come back and we'll all be together at the same thing. So let's let this machine go. Our dough is right out of the bread maker. And I'm not even using my floured hands, I'm just regularly grabbing it and taking it and placing it into a greased, oven-safe bowl. Why am I using this bowl? Simply because I went to do something different. I went to have my bread in a different shape, and so I thought, hey, this will be a really cool bowl. I can put it into the oven, it's greased. Now the easy part, put it in there. I'll cover it and put it in a draft-free place for about an hour. Our bread is done of rising. It's been about an hour and it is in a heat safe bowl and I'm going to put this into the oven and let it bake for about 40 minutes until it is done. Remember, make sure that you are in a heat safe bowl or use a, uh, use a loaf pan. We're gonna bake it and then we'll be back. Our bread is nice and hot out of the oven. I'm gonna cut off a slice. Ooh, cottage cheese bread. Mmm, it smells so good. It's sort of like an Italian type bread. It's a wonderful crusty loaf. It's soft on the inside right now. It's still steaming hot. So good. I mean, you can make this in no time. Really fresh, great bread. And I just did it, most of it in my bread maker but you can do it by hand. You can do it with any sort of machine that will help you make, you know, bread. Really good. I would highly recommend this. Now, if you make this, let me know. You can get a hold of me on most social media at CM Coleman Home. Don't forget every Tuesday is a recipe. Love doing these recipes. And I also like for you to, you know, tell me what you want to see me do. If you want to see more recipes like this, just hit like and share this. That way I know that these kind of recipes are the recipes that you want to see. And I hope I get to see you again next time.